Hi, Hank Ackerman, Supply Network Dynamics Chapter 6, Clip Number 7, uh, Outsourcing. In our original model uh, that we made in 2002, um, outsourcing was a two-edged sword. On the one hand, it relieved some of the pressures from work, high workload and low satisfaction. On the other hand, it also more outsourcing led to less learning by employees. And with the parameter values we have now in the, uh, in, 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 the, in the version of the model that's calibrated with historical data five years later, uh, its uh, outsourcing seems to work quite fine. I should mention though that outsourcing is costly. Outsourcing uh, means usually that somebody else is making a profit. So this is the base case. If you would outsource, uh, say, if you want up to the max, simply to see what would happen, uh, yeah, far fewer people, um, and if you would outsource nothing at all, uh, you see that you actually have a big problem here because you never get out of problems. If you look at those, uh, without any outsourcing, you never overcome the problems here. Uh, you have uh, low communication and a fairly mediocre effect of. Uh, the learning of, of uh, customer satisfaction. If we go back to the base case here, then you see that it recovers quickly above seven. So uh, that's not uh, the way to go. Modestly different levels of outsourcing uh, might work uh, quite nice. Um, so say that you could outsource uh, a little bit more, say 40% of cases. And you also see a modest effect on uh, the uh, on, on the on the FT here. So outsourcing was a good policy to release some steam in the beginning. It's the long-term effect where you see a big impact on on FTE, but in the first one or two years, the differences are not so great. So outsourcing nice in the short run, uh, only a limited benefit in the longer run, and of course. Costly, but yeah, you have to do something.